21 must-do study break ideas. Welcome. First one would be meditating. Studies have shown that meditating not only increases your intention span, but also reduces stress, anxiety, and boosts your memory. The second would be to drink water. When you are as little as 1% dehydrated, your cognitive functioning and your mental clarity can decrease by 5%. I did not know that, but now I do. The third is exercise. So this could include going for a walk for 20 minutes or so, dancing or just doing a short 10 minute workout at home. A lot of my work involves sitting at a desk so I find it really beneficial to get my body moving and my blood pumping during my breaks. Fourth is tidy your workspace. I usually spend a couple of minutes at the beginning of my break just tidying up and this includes filing away papers that need to be put in the right folders, throwing away any kind of rough notes that I don't need anymore, Therefore shown to boost productivity. Power nap. Power naps are considered to be sleep during the day for around 10 to 20 minutes. Long enough to gain the benefits of rest, but not too long that you get really tired and cranky. And also make sure to set an alarm because that'll be awkward if you just kind of slept the whole day. Six would be a healthy snack, like me. <laughs> Oh, that's so inappropriate. This is supported by the World Health Organization, suggesting that people who chose healthier food options were 20% more productive at work. Seventh would be going out in nature, boosting short-term memory, concentration, and creativity. Interestingly, as little as 40 seconds in nature has been shown to put your mind into a relaxed state. Eight is listen to music associated with lowered anxiety, blood pressure and pain. Listening to music may also increase the production of new neurons in your hippocampus, a region of your brain associated with storing and recall of memory. And that's going to be extremely choppy, but we're going to go with it. I don't think one genre fits all, but it has been shown that particularly listening to classical music, slow music, instrumental background music, jazz music, or nature sounds, increase motivation and concentration. So give them a go. To be honest, I just listen to my favorite song. Nine is change your environment. Ideas could be going to a coffee shop to study, going to the library, or you can simply just rearrange the furniture in your room. Taking a cold shower. I like taking cold showers because I have a cold soul and I'm just real. Cold showers have been shown to reduce fatigue, giving you heightened focus and alertness. Some people have said that cold showers increase stress, but I found them to really like relax me. Hot shower, cold shower, experiment, find what works for you. 11. 11 is spending time with your friends. This can also help avoid feelings of isolation, which can definitely crop up when you're studying alone. Just laugh, communicate, feel like a human being. Read a book, read a book. If your studies are quite academic, I'd recommend reading something that's nothing too intense, so just a bit of light reading. But if you're if you're the type of person that struggles to put a book down once you've started reading, then maybe this isn't a good for you. I've enjoyed reading during my breaks, and maybe you will too. Daydreaming. I do this too often. A study found that daydreaming activates the same part of your brain associated with problem solving. Apparently daydreaming reduces stress. I did not know that. 14 is do the energy routine. Namaste. This is probably very new to you. You can literally just Google the energy routine. It's just a series of movements, visualization techniques that my auntie showed me. Um, I'll probably be doing a video, my own version of this video soon. It's supposed to really help lower your anxiety and boost your mental clarity. So I would recommend it. I pretty much do it every single morning and it's really helped me, so I've linked it in the description box below if you want to give it a go, so try it. Energy routine. Stretching. <laughs> oh. oh. Look at those faces. Movement enhances blood flow to your brain, as well as your muscles, contributing towards a clearer mind. Run a quick errand. Yeah, I don't like running errands during my break. Examples could be just doing your laundry or washing your dishes. I think this, I think the reason why run, running errands during your break is really beneficial is because when you feel like you've ticked, the more things you tick off your to-do list, the more productive you feel and the more motivated you feel to continue to work. Make a coffee or a tea. I'm obsessed with tea. I drink tea all the time. I actually have a tea routine. 
yes, a tea routine. I drink tea depending on the different times of the day. I think I have an unhealthy relationship. Speaking of tea. Here we go. Listen to a podcast. I find listening to podcasts really enjoyable. I'm obsessed with Jay Shetty's podcast on purpose. I listen to it every single day. I'm just catching up with the hundreds of episodes that I've missed. Yeah, I tend to listen to like self-growth podcasts. If you recommend any other podcasts to listen to, I probably need to have a bit more of a diverse range of podcasts. Let me know in the brain exercises. You could also complete brain exercises during your break, making puzzles, playing solitaire, playing chess, or completing a Sudoku, because I really enjoy playing chess against a computer. Colouring. 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 Colouring has been shown to put you in the same mental state as meditating, generating quietness and mindfulness. Colouring also activates both hemispheres of your brain, the left and the right, which the left is more logical and the right is creative. You use the logical left side of your brain when you're colouring in the lines and the right creative side of the brain when you're choosing which colours you want to use. You reward yourself. Treat yourself. It's okay. If you found that you've been working really productively, you've made really good progress and you've been taking things off your list, there is nothing better than to reward yourself for your hard work with an enjoyable or pleasurable activity. This helps you to associate studying with positivity because you're giving yourself a reward. It also helps with motivating you in the future as well. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found this impactful, insightful and it's added value to your life. Please let me know in the comments below if I've missed anything, if you've got any study tips, ideas or any problems that you'd like to address. Let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Best of luck with all of your studying and I hope to see you soon. Bye!